Hello, beautiful souls. I'm here once again. I remember last time I said I thought the Council of Nine were going to bring through a message of love and it was something somewhat different. But this time I'm going to share what was my love note from a couple of days ago. And in my love notes, you can sign up for those at my website. I have a meme and then a channeled message to follow. And this is a love note that came through from the Council of Nine. So I'm going to read that to you because it was very powerful about what we're moving into and what the potential is for us in this new world that we're creating. And then I'll ask the Council of Nine to come in and give a specific message for all of us today and what they would like us to know and to be experiencing at this time. So here is the love note that came through. And so it is, we come before you once again in service to the all that is. And we delight in the opportunity to speak to you this day, to share our energy with you as you read these words and sit in the presence of the emanations that come from them. For you see, much is happening as the words are put to form. The energetic transmission that comes through the channel is also received as you take in the meaning of what is written and your internal radar feels into and absorbs the light that is transmitted with the words. And so we begin. We begin with love, for indeed the world needs more love. You, each one of you, desire more love, and that is because you are sourced from love and had to fall deeply away from that love to be human. That is until now, and now all that is changing. Now a new world is awakening, as you know. That world will hold a level of love that will astound you, for few have known what true unconditional love feels like. This channel knows it, for she has felt it when working with clients, and the guide sends so much love through her that she is moved to tears. She knows it from the trees who send her such unconditional love that she has the same deep, reverent emotion of knowing what such love really feels like. This is what awaits you, dear ones, a world that is healed and therefore no one causes harm. It is a world where children learn through gentle awareness and adults love all life. That is what is coming. This is the new dawn and it will be heralded in by a million angels singing the wonders of the evolution of Mother Earth and all her human family. Hold the knowing that this is so. Do not falter in the face of chaos and give up hope. There is no need for hope, for your success has already happened. Being witness to how it all unfolds is now your role. With every thought you have, as you witness what you are seeing, you are impacting the outcome. Hold the vision of a new world full of love, beloveds, and you will contribute to the light of this new world unfolding. And so it is, the Council of Nine. So I find that to be such a beautiful message. And it reminds me, um, there's a woman who purchased um, my book, the Spiritual Seeker's Guide to Happiness, and asked me to share in my videos how much transmission there is in that book from the Council of Nine. She's read it many times now. She bought it several years ago and still using it and still reading it because she said it holds so much love, such a powerful transmission from the Council of Nine. And it's good for me to learn that because for me, I'm bringing it through and it's very much my norm and so I don't realize the impact that it has for others. So just as they said here, when people are receiving my love notes or when you're receiving these transmissions that move through me in these videos, you are also receiving the energetic transmission. and. Um, I had a session just this morning with a woman who told me the same thing. When you register for my newsletter list, sign up for my email list, I also give you a free book that I wrote back in 2010 that is a collection of questions that I had people send to me and channeled the answers. And she told me the same thing this morning, that she felt so much love coming from that book. And 
we all can use more love these days that's for sure so if you are just seeking some softness in your life and if things are difficult and challenging if you signed up to my list you'll automatically be sent that book for free and I said to her you know when she's told me that I thanked her very much for telling me because again I don't realize the impact for others I wrote this book many years ago so just offering that as support and I don't send a lot of emails I do send my daily love notes which right now are free they are going to become part of a very minimal fee for membership at some point so if you want to get a taste of those now um, you can register at my link below for my website so let's go in and call upon the Council of Nine to see what else they want to bring through today we are here beloveds we are here in the love and light of all that is we are here in the essence of love that indeed seems to be lost in your world this day and yet we would say to you it is under every level of upheaval it is under every action that seems to be leading one astray it is residing in places that would surprise you if you knew for things are not all what they seem and yet not all can be revealed and so it is those who have the wisdom of discernment those who trust and know that love is the way that love is in everything who are able to see underneath what is the outer appearances to have some inclination of the bigger picture that is unfolding to have some awareness of how much love is acting out below the chaos pushing the chaos to the surface holding it up until the time is ripe for the chaos simply to dissolve away and you will know love once again and as we say this we realize that many are not aware and many are in apparent suffering and we want you to know dear ones that in that suffering is such human and personal growth that it too is of divine service to those who are experiencing it and of service to the all for souls choose personal growth and they take that growth however they can find it and if a soul is not recognizing the light and not able to step back and simply be witness to the chaos while holding their center then the soul will put them into the chaos so that they can be shaken up and challenged out of their very rigid patterns and thought forms so that new awareness new presence can come in for them and even though it may look like suffering to those who are witness to it or certainly for those who are living it it is actually an opportunity for soul growth which again we would say is what souls evolving choose they choose growth some souls are in essence you could say devolving or stagnating but for most of humanity there is the desire for soul growth and expansion and so we want you to know that it looks very different it doesn't always look like joy and happiness or lightness so our message to you today beloved souls of the light is to stand strong in your own knowing stand strong in your own place of recognizing that in the chaos the light is shining through it's almost like the chaos is like an earthquake that's creating cracks in the sidewalk that lets the inner light of Gaia come shining through and all the earth events that are happening the floods and the mudslides and the storms are all Gaia's way of showing you 
that things are out of balance. Things must change. She has her way of restoring balance. And this is what you are witness to. So, beloveds, we come in joy and delight. We come in love. We come to say to you, those of you who are listening to this message, that you are the light of the world. You may feel like you're not doing enough, and yet we say to you, your mere presence on this earth is the gift that you came to be, the gift that you came to deliver. And we would say to you to light yourself first. In order to turn on a gas stove, you need the spark of light. You need the pilot light to be active that will then feed the flame enough that you can cook your meal, heat your water. The pilot light needs to be on within you in order you, for you to turn up the love and give it to the world. Before you can do that, that internal light needs to be alive. For many of you, there has been so much giving that the pilot light is dimming and dimming and dimming. You must fill yourselves up and then be so overflowing that you have nothing but love to give to the world. Because anything less than that is trying to give from a place of emptiness. Until your cup is full and overflowing, there is some emptiness in that cup that you are trying to give from. And it is not that you cannot give from that place, for you can. But the greatest giving is when the vessel is so full that the love is pouring out of it like water from a fountain. And so, beloveds, we want you to know that we are here loving you, blessing you, touching you, witness to all that you are. Witness to the love that you bring to the world. Witness to the pain that you are enduring. Witness to the confusion. Here is something else we would like you to know this day. The confusion comes from thinking you should be doing things the way that others do it. Instead of acknowledging your own soul presence, acknowledging your own internal wisdom, acknowledging that the way you do things is the right way for you. This one also had a discussion about this this morning. This thought that we need to have goals and have them firmly written and have all these steps we need to do to accomplish them because that's what other people do in the world. This one has been confused by that because at her level of being, the greatest way for her is to simply be in the flow and be in the moment and be what this day wants to bring. She had tears this morning, recognizing that a rebirthing was happening, and in that process there was an emptiness and not knowing where she belongs because she hasn't yet been birthed into this next level of initiation that she is moving into. And so she was present with it. She felt it, and the tears dropped from her cheek. And as she was present with it, and let herself say, no, this is the most important thing I could be doing right now, there was a part of her mind who said, you can't go into this. There's other things you should be doing. She recognized that was the most important thing she could be doing right now. It was actually a precious moment because those tears may not be there another day. And so as she was present with it, it moved through her. It helped with the birthing that is coming with this new level of being. And this is what we mean by being authentically you, by being in the moment with what wants to happen with you. What greater opportunity than this year when so many people have more time than they've had before. Certainly things are opening up again, but nothing is the same. And everyone has this opportunity to explore and go within. So, beloveds, we leave you with that, to trust your own inner guidance, to be and live your own inner guidance. So often people get intuitive nudges from the heart and then the mind kicks in and said, oh, but this, and oh, but this, and oh, but this. And so learn to let the heart be the leader. Learn to let the heart speak to the mind.
And when the mind says, oh, but what about this? Oh, I should be doing this. Let the heart say, beautiful mind, I love you. And I know your task is to do and to remind me. And yet in this moment, here's the greatest journey forward. Here is what is important. We are just going to rest into this moment and we're going to move fully into this that is present right now. And the mind will say, oh, okay, okay, I can just relax into that. Oh, what a blessing for the mind to feel this, that it doesn't need to be on duty, that it actually gets a rest and it lets the heart lead the way. And the more you do this, the more you will soften, the more the world will soften, the more the world will change and settle, and the chaos will become still. And you will find yourself in the new world, a world that knows that love speaks, that love is and that love is kind, regardless of what it looks like on the outside. This is your new world, beloveds. You are creating it in every moment, and we are delighted to be present with you, to share this message and this understanding with you, that you may embrace it if you so choose, if it resonates with you. For indeed, we invite you to always use your discernment and take only what resonates, what meets your frequency, what excites you, what feels like truth to you in every situation. Come to know your inner radar. Come to know your inner awareness so that as the chaos moves about you, you can know what to let go of, what is truth for you and what is not, what harmonizes with you and what is in discord. It brings much clarity in knowing your way forward. And remember that trusting yourself, trusting your heart, is the beginning of having that clarity of awareness. With that, we leave you with so much love and remind you that we are with you always. Do not hesitate to call upon us and your guides and those who are here of service to humanity, of service to Gaia, of service to the light. We are your team. We are your support. We are those who serve the love and light of all that is. And we are those who see that light within you and who are ready to ignite that spark, to increase the flame, that you may grow and expand in your own beautiful evolution of souls becoming and moving ever closer to the light, to the all that is, to your greater awareness, and to that which you never even knew was possible. Namaste. So much love. Okay, that felt a bit different today. Very interesting. So... I'd be interested in hearing how it felt for you. It was a little more centered and grounded. And perhaps that's part of this new evolution in me. Um, If you're anything like I am, it's like it's just a continual flow of death, rebirth, initiation, growth, and on we go and on we go and on we go. And how beautiful it is. It can be hard to keep up with sometimes, but it's It's what we came for. It's why we're part of why we're here at this time. So to all of you, I offer so much love. I'm so grateful to each one of you who are here. So grateful to all the beautiful comments that I receive and knowing how much these messages mean to you all. It truly touches my heart and brings me great joy and encourages me to carry on and delivering these messages of love to all of you. And I know that each one of you is contributing in your own way to this beautiful awakening that we're in. And I express my deep appreciation. So much love.